Good morning. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use FreeCAD to measure an existing model. Uh, so if you have a model of some board, I'm going to be using an Arduino Uno, and you need to make mounting holes, per perhaps you can use uh, FreeCAD to measure that model. So, uh, and I've downloaded models like the Arduino Uno, I've uh, uh, ultrasonic sensor, the LCD. So you can use that as a starting point for your projects without actually having them. So we're going to start by importing the Arduino Uno. Um, so I'm going to go to my downloads and I have an Arduino Uno in here. That's, that's fairly basic. So I, so it'll actually work with, uh, without slowing down FreeCAD too much. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to look, take this model and um, we're going to be looking, we're going to be measuring the distance from what I'm going to set as the, you know, use as the origin uh, of zero, zero here. And we're going to measure the distance in X, Y to each of these to the center of the holes. So to start out with, we need to know the orientation uh, uh, to the axis. So in the drawing view that we're going to be doing, we want to look, we want to be looking from the bottom. So as you can see, that's from the negative, from the, from Y looking up from the negative vector. So um, that just keep that in mind. And it's uh, X is off to the positive vector. It's, it's going to draw to the to the positive vector direction of the X. So first thing you want to do is go af after you've imported whatever model you're look we're, you're working on. We're going to go into drawing and dimensioning, and this will bring up our new toolbar. And the first thing we're going to add is a, is a new drawing, and that gives us a, a draft drafting board style drawing. And then we're going to simply add that part to the drawing using this tool button here. Now you see the orientation of it is currently incorrect. And that's why we looked at the orientation uh, before we got started. And we, and we noted that we were going to be viewing it from the y, the negative y vector. So we're going to move, the, change this to y minus ve. I think VE stands for vector. So good, that's exactly what we want. We want it to look up from the bottom. So we're just gonna click okay on that. And that's the drawing we're gonna be using. So the next thing we'll be doing is inserting a linear dimension line. Um, at, we're gonna add a linear dimension to this page. Okay, so selecting the linear dimension adds green highlighting to the drawing. And green highlighting is where you can select the dimensions from and to. So I'm going to zoom in some for this first one. And what we're, what we're going to be measuring is from this point right here, which is going to be zero, zero in our eventual, in our eventual drawing. Uh, it might have been better to have it out here, but you know, we can only draw off the vectors we have easily. So as you select a, the, you know, a point on the drawing, it changes the outer circle to bright green. So it would be good if it was a little bit more perceptible than that. But And then you select your second. Now you can measure in three directions. And those are the that's the triangle that it forms from those three points in space. Or So that's our first dimension. And we're going to get a second one here. And that's our second dimension. So for the center of this, the center of this circle is 15.24 millimeters in the the x direction and 2.54 in the y. So that's where that's that in OpenSCAD I'm going to use that to position that circle. And then maybe if I want to measure the diameter of this, I could just do that. So now I know the the exact diameter or if I needed the radius, I could just do that. So now I know the exact radius. Now, the one thing about um drawing the dimensions, they're not fully interactive. See, see I can't grab that dimension at this point and move it. Um, I'm just moving the whole drawing. Uh, you can you can grab dimensions, each one of them there's own object there and edit them to some extent. So the next one I want to do is I want to uh, grab this y origin here, and I want to find to the center here, and so that's going to be 50.8 from the 
from the zero Y. And on this one, I can grab the center of the circle here and I can go to basically, even though this is high up on the Y axis, it's zero on the X. So it's gonna be 13.97 on the X. That's my second hole. And then I'll do the same thing for these. So I'm gonna to go to this Y here, or that X there, I'm sorry. And I'm gonna to go to this Y over here, which is at the very bottom. Okay, and the same here. So I'm picking sort of anchor points for each of the dimensions so that it doesn't, it's not difficult to, um, it doesn't get crowded on one side. So this gives me the four coordinate points of my Arduino holes from this starting point. So the value of this is if you've ever downloaded a dimension drawing from the internet, they tend to not have the dimensions you need. So if you have a, um, a model already, this is a step model, STP or STEP, and I can use this step model to get my dimensions and I can get any dimension I want. So if I wanted to know the, you know, the dimension between the pins, 2.54, that might sound familiar to. If I wanted to know the uh, USB dimensions or the power connector, so you can see I can get pretty much any dimension I need from, from whatever reference point I need. Um, a lot of times drawings will show you the distance between the holes, but not the distance from the edge of the board. Um, you can also get, radi I believe you can get a radius dimension. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's the, that, I think that's the radius of that corner right there is 0.635 millimeters. Um, so that's it. I hope you're able to use the drafting and drawing, the drawing dimensioning tool to help you out. It's a great tool. I, I love just playing with it even. And thank you for whoever authored this because it's a wonderful thing. So the final thing you actually you'll do is close it. And then these are all your dimensions. You can delete those. I don't know if you can move them around. I don't think you can ever move them around. Let's see if you can do a translate. Nope. 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 You can do some things with, um, position you know you can edit this a little bit um, you can't read as far as I know the dimension so here's here's how it puts the value in here so there's some calculation going on that I don't I don't know how uh, it does that so you can't read these values easily I at least I haven't figured out a way yet if you know please comment so if you like this please subscribe ring the bell and um, and feel free to comment thank you so much have a great day